Ooh, so everybody's dad to bring you guys another video. Sorry, I haven't bring you guys any content for the last two weeks. I've been extremely busy. Uh, so let's get right down to it. Uh, as you guys know, E3 is approaching uh, very quickly, very rapidly. I mean, time is just, I mean, going by so fast. Folks, it looks like we just we were just here at E3 2017. And that reveal <clears throat> for the vast majority of the companies, Nintendo, Microsoft, and Sony, except for Microsoft. Microsoft was just a blip. It was disgusting. <laughs> but enough of that, though. The conferences are approaching, and officially, I believe, I believe the first conference is actually going to be Nintendo, uh, June 12th, 12, 12, uh, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that means if you live in the Pacific, uh, Pacific Coast, like California, Washington, Oregon, etc., uh, uh, with exception of Arizona, um, it will be 9 a.m. in the morning, which I will be here. So I want to make it very clear to you guys. Uh, I want to make it clear to all my subscribers out there, Wolf Blow, all of my new subscribers, uh, <clears throat> Cocker Rock, <coughs> uh, Critical Hit 64, etc. All you guys out there, um, I will be streaming uh, the Nintendo E3 conference, uh, the Sony E3 conference, the Microsoft E3 conference, the Ubisoft E3 conference, and that's pretty much it. I will not be streaming EA's E3 conference. I will not. I'm not wasting my time with EA uh, and their nonsense. So, um, anyway, we have had a plethora of news um, literally in the last two to three weeks uh, since I made since I last made a video. So let's get right down to it. But first, before we get into the news, I gotta do two uh, quick unboxings of games uh, that recently came out uh, last week. Uh, with one title that came out two days ago for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, and the Nintendo Switch. So let's get right down to it. So I re recently went to my local Best Buy right here. Okay, bag right here. <laughs> And I picked up two titles. Um, now, I want to make it very clear. One of the titles I could have got on the PC platform, but because uh, some issues are going around, especially notable ones that like hackers have infiltrated this installment, it really is becoming a nuisance. So I started to pick up the PS4 version of the title, and I probably won't be picking the PC version anytime soon. So it will be strictly played on PlayStation 4. I will be also back on PlayStation 4 now that I got this actually starting today. Because I basically have been... Um, uh, reluctant in playing uh, PlayStation 4 games. I've been playing a lot of PC titles and getting a lot of my backlog complete. Been playing a lot of uh, World of Warcraft on a private server. So, um, as you guys know, World of Warcraft Classic was confirmed back in October 2017. Was it November? I'm not sure. I think it was November. But it, it just blew me away that World of, War, World of Warcraft Classic got confirmed. So for us PC gamers, this is great news. For the console gamers, you obviously are not going to care. But this is huge for us. So, anyway. Uh, I don't want to showcase my information, so let me take off these stickers. Uh, and that is, okay. Shoot, I already showed you guys. Well, you already saw it too. Dark Souls Remastered, folks. For the PlayStation 4. Dark Souls Remastered, okay. 60, a consistent 60 frames per second. One of the big uh, things I love about this game right here is the fact that uh, Blight Town has been fixed. Everybody is always concerned with just Blight Town. Blight Town, Blight Town, Blight Town. But really, this actually uh, remasters a cash grab. I had a ton of uh, Best Buy um, reward certificates, so this was a, a good deal. So Dark Souls Remastered, and lastly, Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. I really just got this just for a loan for Third Strike and Alpha 3, but mostly, or should I say Alpha 2, well, Alpha 3 is on my hand. But um, <clears throat> I mostly got this for Third Strike, you know what I'm saying? Some people say, oh, I should go to 5K, why not? You should deal with that, but honestly... Uh, I decided to get this all in. Why not? I mean, why not play these uh, Street Fighter games? You can play some time to time, and not to mention, uh, especially local, and all the time. And from time to time, you can also uh, play all uh, three, of the, four of these titles online. I think it's Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Alpha 3, uh, Third Strike, and I forgot the other one. I think it's, I, I, I'm not sure what, which one it is, but nevertheless, that is freaking cool, and hey, it is what it is. So I got the three right here. I'm sorry, the two right here. Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection and Dark Souls Remastered for PlayStation 4. I also specifically got this version over PC because the PC version is literally dead, folks, at launch. I mean, literally, I think the, the highest peak of this game, even at launch on the PC, was like 576 people. You know what I'm saying? I know I also read that there's a little uh, netcode issues here and there, but it's, I know what I'm saying some people are saying that it's flawless, so we'll see how it goes. But other than that, hey, I got the games right here. And I just want to say that one thing, this is low tier Okay. <laughs> anyway, also uh, to remind you guys, this also includes the Torius of the Abyss DLC, okay, in the back right here. So this is uh, Dark Souls Remaster requires eight gigabytes minimum, two to six network players, online subtitles, etc. 
And I wonder why a lot of this is actually written in French, which is pretty hilarious. PS4 Pro enhanced as well. Forgot. And of course, uh, this bad boy requires six gigabytes minimum. But uh, like I said, I'm mostly going to be on <laughs> Third Strike. You know what I'm saying? I play uh, Ray. Of course, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, is it Ray? The dude, the white dude with the with the um, the green bluish kind of hair, red pants, black jacket. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, loving it. So that's what I want to take, uh, talk about you UN. So we got that out of the way. So let's talk about what's going on right now in regards to the, uh, for E3. Let's also talk about a lot of news that have been confirmed recently. Um, also, within the time that I last made my video, there's a lot of confirmations for a lot of games. So I want to go through all the companies real quickly. I don't want to make this video too long. Bethesda, they have came and confirmed a, uh, uh, <clears throat> um, a new installment, a sequel to the original Rage that came out back in 2009, I believe, uh, by ID Software. Rage 2 is coming. And to me, I was totally blown away. I was like, Rage 2? Wait, what? A sequel to the original? I thought that game kind of bombed, but it really didn't. Between 360 PS3 and PC, it actually did financially well. But Rage, like, I don't think anybody thought about that, but the gameplay of Rage 2 looks dope. So I expect to see more gameplay at this year's E3. I believe Bethesda's going to be there. So that's number one. So that totally caught me off guard. I didn't really not expect to see a sequel to Rage. So good on Bethesda for bringing that IP in. Okay? Uh, number one. Number two. Uh, we also got Fallout 76. However, what's going on around the internet is that this is an online survival horror, or is an online survival um, Fallout game. Okay? That takes place, I think they said 200 years before Fallout 3. I don't know why they say 200 years before Fallout 3. Why not to say 200 years? Well, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I believe Fallout 1 and 2 take place at the Fallout 3. I, I, I keep forgetting, folks. Shoot, I can't. I haven't kept up with the Fallout um, uh, series uh, when it comes to this, the story for quite some time. I actually haven't played, played a Fallout game, dang, since Vegas. And that was, what, three, four years ago. So, hey, please forgive me. So, yeah, so I guess they say 200 years before Fallout 3. So I guess that, that's where it started. Anyway, so um, people say it's going to be similar to Daisy and Russ, and people are like, oh, man, ain't looking forward to that. But well, folks, you know me, <laughs> I bought Fallout 4, Game of Year Edition last year, 2017, and I still haven't touched it yet. <laughs> so it, it doesn't concern me. I'm not too huge on Fallout, you know what I'm saying? I uh, never have, um, even though I have all the games. Uh, Fallout's not been one of my biggest uh, Bethesda, of course, I say, listen, yeah, Bethesda, um, you know, I've always been a more of an Elder Scrolls fan. You know what I'm saying? Love Oblivion, love Morrowind. God, Morrowind got remade. Amazing. So that's what we got. We got a, a sequel to Race 2. We also got um, Fallout 76 confirmation. We'll see more about that. But 2019 release date, okay? But if you guys, you got, if you guys know, I know it's going to be a broken mess, just like Fallout 4 was. It is what it is. So, but that's out of the way. I want to talk about Ubisoft. Now, there's new more news about a new Assassin's Creed coming. Later this year, uh, Assassin's Creed, I forgot what it's called, but they uh, said that Assassin's Creed, the new installment, will take place in Greece, okay? This is Ubisoft, okay? Uh, what I expect from Ubisoft at this year's E3, and, and of course, a lot of other uh, um, companies out there, video game publishers, uh, sorry, video game um, uh, news editor, news um, reporters, I'm sorry, said that uh, Ubisoft will be uh, bringing the Division 2, uh, maybe a teaser for that. Um, I I've been on the Division right now a lot. Uh, if you want to play online, co-op with me, let me know uh, in the comment section. We'll play some. But I'm playing the Division uh, right now, getting caught up on that. But Division 2 will be a day one buy for me. I will be getting that. Uh, next up is Beyond Good and Evil 2 will be a day one buy for me. No questions asked. A prequel to the original. This totally caught me off guard. We've been waiting years, but we really didn't think there was going to be a prequel. So I don't, I don't know how this ties in with Jade, but and, and I, how it ties in with the original cast of the original Beyond Good and Evil. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, we, we also heard, heard confirmation, official confirmation that Skull and Bones, but Ubisoft has been delayed to 2019. So it is what it is. So and then lastly, the, the IP that I care about the most, absolutely care about, and that is Splinter Cell Blacklist. Okay, Splinter Cell Blacklist, Splinter Cell, Splinter Cell, Splinter Cell. That's all I care about. I love Splinter Cell Blacklist. I've been every single Splinter Cell game. I've been Splinter Cell Original, Pandora Tomorrow, Chaos Theory. Uh, I've been um, Double Agent. Uh, I've been um, Conviction, Blacklist. I got all four versions of Blacklist: 360, PS3. PC. I mean, if you think I'm joking, check my achievements, check my trophies, check everything. Folks, I'm obsessed with Blacklist. It is one of the best Splinter Cell games I've ever played. And sadly, it didn't sell that well financially. And I think it because, honestly, part of it was actually the fact that um, Michael Ironside, the main voice actor of Splinter Cell, was not in the game. So it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? 
but I have not played Ghost Recon Wildlands, but there was a DLC that did involve Sam Fisher, Michael Ironside, and that was a, like a good collaboration. I was like, that was smart. And I think Michael Ironside said that he wanted to come back and do it, even though he said it to himself that he got tired, he got exhausted from the role of doing Sam Fisher and splintering stuff. But he's back. Maybe fifth echelon will be back. You know what I'm saying? Wherever the case may be. But I love Blacklist. And I really hope that there's going to be online co-op, there's going to be online multiplayer, Spies versus Mercs, and an amazing, fantastic um, uh, single player with the great uh, cast of the Sprint and Soul franchise, Graham's Daughter. Uh, we now have, um, what's this dude's name? Um, I shouldn't know. I've been in the game so many times. Um, Charlie. You know what I'm saying? Newscaster. Um, you know, but I, I just can't wait to see how it turns out. I hope to God they confirm new Splinter Cell, but they do. It's 2019 release date, but it will be a day one buy. And actually, I will be getting the collector's edition of the new Splinter Cell game, if it indeed is true. Cross fingers. Cross fingers. So Ubisoft is out of the way. Let's get right down to Nintendo. Now, Nintendo is probably what everybody's looking forward to Nintendo. I mean, we're talking about Metroid Prime 4. We're talking, man, this is my predictions of Nintendo's E3. Uh, e I will be doing, um, I already done a Nintendo E3 um, podcast, not podcast, uh, uh, live stream. I will be doing one for Microsoft and, and, and Sony and Ubisoft later as well and my thoughts about them. But I just want to do a summary in this video. But Nintendo, we're expecting probably a Shin Megami Tensei 5 teaser. You know what I'm saying? So we're expecting, um, uh, what is it? A Metro Prime 4 for the Nintendo Switch. We're expecting uh, gameplay. I'm like, who was that? Um, we're expecting um, Super Mario Odyssey. We're expecting um, Pokemon Let's Go Eve and Let's Go Pichu. If you guys haven't heard, new Pokemon games have been confirmed. And also, the core Pokemon RPG that was confirmed at Nintendo E3 2017 is actually coming in 2019. We got, we're getting three Pokemon games, folks, in literally in three years. Of course, we also got the Pokemon Quest game that's for iOS. Android phones and also Nintendo Switch, which I believe Marlin Gaming has tried out. It is what it is. Um, but I don't care about that. Um, we're talking about what else? Um, we heard, we heard that um, uh, that uh, who's the company behind uh, Xenoblade? I forgot who is uh, Monolith Soft. Uh, uh, talking about a new MMO somehow for the Nintendo Switch. Um, so we know that they want <coughs> they want to um, make a new Xenoblade Chronicles three. And they also want to make a Xenoblade Chronicles X2. Okay. Um, so also we heard that they wanted to port over the original Xenoblade and Xenoblade Chronicles X uh, like several months back, 2017, to the Nintendo Switch. So that's pretty dope. Uh, but we'll, we'll see probably a new teaser for Monolith Soft's game. You know what I'm saying? They gotta, we got to keep it busy, keep it rolling. Um, what else? Because uh, I'm um, trying to think. Uh, I don't know. Um... Uh, I think Retro Studios new game perhaps. Um, what else? I'm trying to think out there at the box. Uh, the, one of the developers said Wave Race. Uh, he said he wanted to bring the series back to Nintendo Switch. Probably, I, I doubt that we're going to see that, but it's what it is. More third party announcements, more indies, um, but everything else is up for grabs. I think most people are looking forward to just gameplay for Metro Prime 4. I'm also predicting cross fingers. Highly unlikely, you know what I'm saying? But you know, you never know. Uh, it's a Metro Prime Trilogy HD, and so I would love to see that. And like I said again, I want I want to reiterate, reiterate Pokemon Let's Eve and Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu uh, gameplay in depth. We saw the trailer, but we're probably going to see more gameplay. And those bad boys have been already um, uh, given a release date for November 16, 2018 this year. Both versions I'll be purchasing, and I will be doing unboxings, okay? So that's Nintendo. Um, there's more about Nintendo that is not on my mind right now. As usual, my mind is foggy. Um, it's probably my weight loss, doing pretty well by the way, and um, so it is what it is. So that is what Nintendo. Now uh, going through Microsoft. Honestly, folks, we're just going to go through Microsoft. Now recently there were some rumors that Microsoft can cancel Crackdown Three supposedly. I was like, oh god, cancel Phantom Dust, cancel Fable Legends, cancel Scalebound, and now you're canceling uh, this. I mean, seriously. What do you expect from Microsoft? This is the worst generation of Microsoft. Uh, uh, seriously, hands down, the Wii U was better than this a travesty of, of a company. I, I don't know. Phil Spencer, uh, you know, I think he's just a talking point. Just a, just a, you know what I'm saying? He's just a puppet. But other than that, Microsoft, you, you are pathetic. Seriously. Like, no exclusives on this console. I mean, what was really the last exclusive solely for the Xbox One? Can't think of a single thing. That's why PlayStation destroys you so badly. It's, it's disgusting. But Microsoft, honestly, what would I love to see from Microsoft? GoldenEye 007 HD, a new Conquer, Killer Instinct 4, you know what I'm saying? I mean, Sunset Overdrive 2, 
Perfect Dark 3. I mean, just, I mean, what, what are you guys doing? Like, you guys got IP at the IP, Battle Toads, man. I mean, what is wrong with, with, with Microsoft? Gears of War, I mean, seriously. I, 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 I'm scared for Microsoft E3. A lot of Xbox gamers saying this is a make or break situation. Microsoft does not deliver. There's a YouTuber by the name, a good YouTuber named M, probably one, the only one of the few rational Xbox gamers out there. I think his name is MGB2. Like, this it's two lines and it's MGB and there's two lines again. Hashtags. I mean, not hashtags, two lines. It look like, uh, you know what I'm saying, double L's or ones, etc. Anyway, he's one of the few rational Xbox gamers out there. And he said that Microsoft needs to deliver. You know what I'm saying? Deliver, deliver, deliver. Otherwise, people are going to say, what's the point of me having an Xbox One? So, uh, that's Microsoft. I really can't tell. I don't know what to expect from Microsoft. I really don't. I really, really don't. Sorry. So, that's enough with that. And then, lastly, Sony. Now, Sony, we know that day's gone. Uh, it's been delayed in 2019. We know um, that, uh, what's the other game? Um, uh, what was it? The Last of Us Part Two. We will be seeing gameplay and perhaps a release date, okay? I don't think this is going to be a 2019 title. I would be shocked if it is, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the last game from Night Dog would be Uncharted 4, and that was, what, 2016 of May? So, actually, you know, I believe it is what it is. Um, I will be getting the collection edition for The Last of Us, part two, day one. No questions asked. Uh, I will be seeing some more Ghost of Tsushima from uh, Sucker Punch. That was their new game. Um, and re uh, not release date. Don't expect a release date. Uh, that was shown last year, E3, but don't expect a release date. Still, just probably get a release year, 2019, definitely. Um, we'll be seeing Dreams gameplay and finally a release date. If we don't see a, a release date for Dreams, so I'm going to be kind of scared. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be kind of scared what's going on with the, with the project. Um, I, it's highly unlikely, but I would love a Demon Souls remaster from Atlas exclusively for PlayStation 4. You know what I'm saying? Day one buy for me. Period. Hands down, day one buy. Um, I was thinking uh, that uh, the company behind all the re all remasters who did the Uncharted collection, who did Shadow Colossus, I forgot their name. Um, not KLOC. Uh, it's a different developer. I forgot what the name by. I'm sure they're gonna probably do another remake, Spiral uh, Trilogy remaster and show a case for gameplay. Final, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 gameplay and release date. But I don't I don't know if Square Enix is gonna have their own E3. So, I, I don't know. We'll probably show their table or PlayStation, who knows. Final Fantasy VII Remake, more additional gameplay. I mean, maybe a teaser or whatnot again. Because, you know, it's been about three years now since that since that showing. It, it, wow, that, that's amazing. It's been three years, folks. Like, seriously, since then. Um, Resident Evil 2 Remake. If this is not shown at E3, I'm not I'm not, I'm not even bothered with, with uh, Capcom. Yeah, so it is what it is. Um, so I expected to see that. If, if there's no RE2 remake shown at, at Sony's conference, I don't know what to expect. I, I really don't know what to expect with Cap. I, don't, I can't even talk right now. I'm tongue twisted. I don't know what to expect from Capcom. I really don't. Even though we're getting Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate with, for the Switch English version, I've been trying to still learn my Japanese, but still, thank goodness that was that was coming, um, which is only a matter of time, perhaps. But um, nevertheless, pretty dope. Um, what else? There's more stuff. I'm thinking also Atlas may have some maybe a Persona 1 through 3 uh, remakes confirmed for the PlayStation 4. Maybe remasters uh, for Persona 4 for PlayStation 4, perhaps. Um, what else? Uh, um, there's not much to expect from Sony. You know, Sony's got got the ball rolling. Um, they don't need to worry about a new God of War anytime soon. Um, this is what it is. So, folks, that's pretty much it. Um, it's my neighbor next door is bumping up, um, talking. But anyway, uh, I think that's pretty much it for for Sony. So, hey, and Sony, good job. So, folks, I pretty much covered all of the companies out this year's E3. If there's more that I'm not talking about in this video, put in the comment section uh, what your predictions uh, right down for Nintendo um, and Sony and Ubisoft and uh, Microsoft comments. You want to talk about that one? Uh, I don't care about PC. I don't know any PC's going to be there unless it's a Half Life announcement from Gabe Newell, which he did confirm, by the way. Valve is getting back to making games, but will we have a Path Life 3 anytime soon? Should we ever have in our lifetime? It's going to be a matter of time, folks. I think people are going to pretty much move on when Half Life 3 is confirmed. I don't know. Anyway, it is what it is, but I'm expecting everybody to do good. Like I said, I don't care about EA. Battle for five showings, pretty dope, but other than that, I don't care. It is what it is. So, you guys have a good day. Uh, oh, but I think we may see more confirmation of Dragon Age. 
because Dragon Inquisition was a 2014 title, and you know I wonder what the team of Dragon uh, Dragon Age uh, Bioware uh, have been doing. So it is what it is. But other than that, folks, you guys have a good day. God bless, and uh, I'll be doing a Sony stream um, pretty soon, and also uh, followed by Microsoft and Ubisoft, not EA.